I'm going to start by typing in the word January. Now I'd like to also fill in for three more months here and I could come out and just type in February and March for the first quarter of the year but an easier trick to use here is to employ this thing called the fill handle and you'll see this in the bottom right corner of a cell it's right here and if you place your pointer over the top of this guy you'll see your pointer change into a plus sign which indicates that you're going to make a copy so instead of clicking here and then typing in February clicking here typing in March I can just come out here grab the fill handle and drag to the right two cells Excel recognizes the name of the month and will subsequently fill in the uh, months that follow. So it's a very simple tool using the fill handle. Um, we'll cover all sorts of different uses for the fill handle as we go along. I'm going to go ahead and plug in a few names and then type in some numbers for sales figures. And I'll just come down here and type in 5 and then 10 and then 15 and then 20. And now we have the first month's sales figures for my four employees. Let's try a different method out here. I'm going to come out and click under February and I will type in 10 and then 15. But instead of continuing down and typing in 20 and 25, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select both 10 and 15. And I will grab the fill handle like before with when I did this with January. And with both cells selected, place my pointer on top of the fill handle, hold down my mouse, and drag down two cells. And because I've selected two separate numbers, Excel looks at the interval between the two numbers and increases the amount by that number. So in this case it increments by 5 and I get 10, 15, 20, 25. Now I can do the same thing moving horizontally by selecting all eight of these cells at once and then grabbing the fill handle and dragging to the right and for each one of the rows here it will change from top row for Danny 5, 10, and then 15. Bev will be uh, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And it's a real simple way to use this interval tool along with the fill handle to um, select in my case just some uh, create some sample numbers for my spreadsheet.